In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these super cute fall stickers that are trending right now, quickly and easily, step by step. The great thing about stickers, not only are they selling well right now in various niches with low competition, they're also one, a great addition to increase your customer average order value by bundling them up with journals, planners, junk journals and other creative kits. But two, you can also convert them to a clip art pack or Instagram highlight pack for very little work so that you can create other products to sell. I'll be giving you tips and tricks along the way. Plus, I'll be giving you this pack and prompts that I've created today for free. So watch till the end for more goodies. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a thing and let's get going. This is the pack of four digital stickers that I'm going to show you how I've created so quickly and so easily. Using Artistly, I think it's a really good AI generator. I think the price is right, $49 just for a single payment. And if you use the code SECRET10 at checkout, you get an extra 10% off. I'll leave all the links below to everything that we talk about today. So don't worry, they'll all be underneath this video. And I think Artistly is particularly good for clip art, stickers, that kind of thing. And it's done a great job of doing exactly what I wanted. So let me show you how I created these. First of all, I logged into Artistly, went to Create Design, then I go to Advanced AI Image Generator. That's my one that I've chosen today. You might want to choose the Fast AI Image Generator. This isn't particularly slow, but you test. Click the Start Creating button. I'm going to just leave it at 1080 by 1080 because I will upscale it later but if you don't want to upscale it then you'd want to make this a little bit bigger so if I would make them say 3500 by 3500 create I would click on the AI designer button here ready to generate and you'll put your prompt in here you can decide what ratio you want the image to be in square landscape portrait whatever I'm going to stick with square and in here I'm going to put my prompt now the prompt I'm going to use today is a kawaii style fall digital sticker of and then in here I'm going to put whatever object that I want. So this is going to be a small honey jar with a golden honey and a wooden dipper. Watercolour glow effect, soft watercolour texture with flat edges, warm earthy tones, burnt orange, caramel brown cream isolated on a white background. So we're telling it that it's in this kawaii cute style that it's a digital sticker so hopefully it's going to put a white border around it if you just want it to make a clip art pack then just put the word image in there then take that out this section here is what you're going to change when you put each different image that you want to design in we're going to leave it with a watercolor glow effect soft watercolor texture with flat edges warm earthy tones because we want those fall colors and we want it isolated on a white background so it's easy to remove the background just makes it clean and crisp so now I'm going to click generate image and I'm going to give you this prompt and all this pack as well and all the descriptions of what I've created. So don't worry about copying this now. Click generate image. I would then click on it to add it to the canvas. We can make that bigger or smaller. You can then remove the background in here if you want to. Click remove background. When you've removed the background, you then have to click on this design to add it to the canvas so click on it and then click the export button as a PNG and now I'm going to go over to Canva and add them in there because I like to check them and just make sure that they're of really good quality for the customer so I'm going to go to custom size and put 3500 by 3500 in create new design and now here I've got my canvas I'm going to drop that image in from Artistly Click it onto my canvas and I'm going to check what the background's like. Put a darker background in and then you can see the artist has done a really good job of creating that honey pot. It's put the white edge round for me and that's made a really cute digital sticker. So I would use that prompt and I would go through and I would change these out for whatever I want to create, whether that's a bottle of maple syrup, a pumpkin spice latte, whatever I want to create. And each time I would just click generate image until I got the design that I want. Now, if by chance it creates you a really good design, but it hasn't got the white sticker border all the way around, then I'll show you how you can do that in Canva. If you look at all of these, they all had that white sticker border around, which is what I wanted. But I thought this one was quite cute, but 
it didn't have the white background so I'm going to just export it as it is PNG again I'm going to go over to Canva add another canvas and I'm going to add my coffee cup to that canvas I'm now going to remove the background from it I'm going to put a dark color behind as a background to make sure that the image is clean which it is I'm going to click on the image I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to go down here to shadows I'm going to click on outline and you can see here now that it's put an outline on it I'm going to change that color I want to change that to white which is all the F's and you can see that it's put that white sticker outline on I can make that narrower or wider probably just a touch narrower so it matches to a similar size to that one and I will do that with all of my images when I'm happy with the full set I would make my background white again change them all from that color to that color the background and I would download them here as PNGs or with transparent backgrounds click the download button and now we can see that they're trans they've got a transparent background the three and a half thousand by three and a half thousand pixels which is big enough for stickers and clip art however the 96 pixels per inch I would prefer that at 300 purely because anything that may be printed I like it to be of that high resolution to convert to that 300 dpi I use the tool Topaz Gigapixel I use that for my upscaling and for my 300 dpi conversion we don't need to upscale these images because they're already a decent size however as I say I do want to convert to 300 dpi the beauty with Topaz Gigapixel is that I can do this all in bulk I can just drop all of the images together into here and it will do them all together quickly and easily just drop them in like that and I can put all 12 or 15 20 whatever into there I can make them whatever size I want say I want to make them 4,000 by 4,000 and I want to make them at 300 pixel per inch for that really high resolution quality so now it's done that I click this button here export save and it will download all those high resolution images for me all in one go and now when I check the image size I can see that the 4000 by 4000 at 300 ppi and these are now ready to list or sell so this is the pack that I've created for you you can download that for free below this video on the link all as I ask is that you don't resell it as a sticker pack or a clip art pack but you're free to use them on your own digital products I've also included the prompt guide so that you can take that prompt, use it as a base and add in a description of any image that you want to create a sticker or clip art for. So the links for everything that we've talked about today are below this video. Go grab your free sticker and prompt pack too and let me know in the comments below what you'll be creating with those. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and go watch these videos next. Create eye-catching digital products with clip art fast and design stunning digital products for beginners. I'll see you in the next one.